Hi guys, Sandra Mateo here from Gitana Styling and the Fashion Entrepreneur Club. How are you doing? Today in this Fashionpreneur Chat, I wanted to talk to you about leads, right? So if you don't know what's a lead, a lead is that person, that email, right? Um, that might turn into a customer, right? Right now it's just a potential customer and it can turn into a customer. So my question, right, and what we're gonna talk about today is different key elements in this process of lead generation. And, you know, we hear everybody say, oh, are you building your email list? Do you have a system going on? But, you know, some people are missing elements within their strategy, right? Because maybe you are collecting emails, but you're not doing anything with them. Or maybe you don't have that system. Maybe you get a lot of business cards everywhere uh, you go, but then you don't do anything with them. You don't have a platform. You don't, you know, you don't put that information in. You don't call them back. Like, so let's dive into that really quick here. So the first thing is, do you have a system, right? Do you have a system to collect those leads? Do you have a system that it's on? Do you have something on your website? Or when you go to an event in person and once you get that business card, when you get home, what do you do with that business card? Do you have a, a an app or do you have a program where you can include that information in there and all of that, right? So first, the system, do you have a system, right? The second thing is once you have that information in there, in that software or in that program or in a spreadsheet, what do you do with it? Because maybe you're collecting a lot of them, but then you're not doing anything with them. So are you calling them? Are you following up with them? Are you sending, send, sending them some useful information? Are you putting newsletters together? What are you doing to further develop that relationship, right? And after doing that, if you are doing that and you're developing that relationship, what comes next? Do you have you know, an offer to make them? Do you have a sales process to take them through? What is going on there? Because the whole point, right, of getting these leads is to get customers, right? We all know that not all of them are gonna turn into customers and that's okay and that's totally fine, right? But if they're interested, if there's a common interest, right, they are interested in something that you have and you are interested in helping them, helping them, how are you gonna make that happen? Because if you don't figure it out, it's always gonna be in the air, right? It's always gonna be in the air, but nothing really happens. So when you think about lead generation and when you think about you know building your email list or whatever you wanna call it, right? Are you clear about the steps, right? So I, I talk about a lot about the customer journey, which is that path, that path of that first time you meet with someone, right? And all those steps that we take, right? Towards getting to that place where they become a customer, right? And then possibly a two-time customer, three-time customer, lifetime customer, right? So we have a very simple uh, principle in our Etsy store that goes through that process, but that's what I wanna talk about here today. So I just wanna make you think about that do you have a clear process for that? Do you have a clear customer journey? You know, the first time they meet you, where do they meet you? And then how do you collect that information? And then what do you do with that information? Do you still go ahead and develop that relationship? And then at what point do you make that move where you schedule a call or or make an offer or, or send them a coupon? Like how does that work and how do you close that sale? So let me know how that's working out for you. If you're missing a step, um, I'll make sure to leave a link to our Etsy product so you can check it out there and maybe give you more clarity, but I'm here to answer your questions. And obviously we also talk about it, we dive deeper into it in our incubator program, but I'm here to answer your questions because I know it's so important. You know, if we don't have that process set up, you know, how do we make income in our businesses, right? So so yeah, let's get clear about that. And like I said, if you have any questions at all, I'm here to answer them, okay? Um, yeah, so that's it. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next Fashionpreneur Chat. Bye guys.